Welcome, my name is Mats Olsammar. This is part 8 about the Olsammar engine and here I will talk about electricity generation. Today we have a lot of wind farms, so when the wind blows we generate electricity with them. We can also have solar farms that will generate electricity when the sun shines. But we need to combine these with some power plant that can operate any time we like. This could be a nuclear power plant, could also be a hydroelectric power plant. But for some uh, countries, some places, it's easier to use uh, uh, fossil fuel and have a power plant for that. And then we like to have uh, as efficient power plant as possible. Here is a gas turbine. It can generate 400 megawatts of electricity at 40% efficiency. It has a 30 minute startup time, so you need to plan it in advance. The hot exhaust from these gas turbines can be used to heat water to very high temperature and pressure. And then they can drive a steam turbine very efficiently. So this combination gives 400 megawatts from the gas turbine plus 200 megawatts from the steam turbine. And then we have 60% efficiency for the combined cycle. But the startup time is very long for this type. So it's not useful for start and stop action if you need to compensate for the cloud coming in over the solar farm and things like that. Here is a piston engine with 18 cylinders. It's a big Wärtsille and it's 377 tons, 19 meter long. It can give 18 megawatts at 50% efficiency for electricity. And these type of engines take only two minutes to start up. So they're quite convenient and are often used together with wind farms. So for instance, these type are very common in Texas, where they have a lot of wind farms. Um, and here we see a station where they have several of these. And uh, the good thing about it is that you can add the number um, for the capacity you need. And you can also service one unit while the others are running. So it's um, more flexible in a way than the big uh, gas turbines with the steam turbine combination. These type of large piston engines have very high turbo pressure and they can be therefore converted to the Ulsamer engine with a very high efficiency. And you can also build retrofit solutions for these large piston engines. And I believe that we can improve the efficiency from today's 50% to 55 or possibly 60%. And then they will be just as efficient as the big combination of steam turbine and gas turbine, but with a more flexible approach that these have. Thank you very much. I hope you uh, found this interesting. And if you have any questions, then please contact me.